I think of the wonderful examples I've noted recently in our Christian community in Orangeville, and I think they can be encouraged, encouragements to us as well. Did you see any, the note about the family carnival put on by the Salvation Army Church, I think just a week or so ago? They got a hot air balloon, gave rides to the kids. They had Fred Penner, my boy's favorite singer when they were growing up. I think it probably cost them a few dollars to put that carnival together, but the news report said a huge crowd of family folk showed up for that event. I think that congregation was saying, we recognize the need, the needs of families in our community, and we're willing to do something to meet those needs. I've been very impressed to see that Good Friends Fellowship over here on Broadway had sensed the need of our community, a need which perhaps we don't want to uh, recognize, but a need of needy people, not necessarily homeless, but who can use a warm, hot meal, perhaps the only one they'll get during the day. And the Good Friends Church are feeding at times, I think, 50, 60, 70 people at their lunch, uh, the lunch, which is a free lunch because people in this community of Orangeville have come behind them and said, we want to help the neediest of the neighbors of our community. Very, very impressive. I think what it boils down to is choosing to see the world as God sees it, with love, with care, with compassion, with a sense that you and I and the neighbor beside us are worthy of his love. I'll never forget having met John Allo, the leader of the social development work of the Presbyterian Church in Ghana, in northern Ghana, and his expression, which was such an amazing uh, example of seeing the needs of our neighbor. He said as he looked around his community, saw the, the needs of the disabled, particularly young disabled members, he said these aren't disabled people, they're simply differently abled. I think I've told you that story before. Differently abled. They're worthy of love. They just need a little bit of help. They just need a little bit of neighborly care, training, love, education, but most of all, love. They are worthy of human care because God deems them worthy. Not a long sermon today, but hopefully one that challenges us in these days when it seems to be so important for us to again recommit to what is not just an option in our lives, but truly a requirement to love God with all that we are and to love our neighbor as ourselves. A requirement because we first are loved. And we are called in turn to love one another both God and neighbor, both creator and all of his creation, with all that we are. Let us bow in prayer together.